ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആൻഡ് ലൈഫ് സ്കിൽസ് എം മാത്യു അട്ടുകാണിത് ടുഡേ ആർ ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഈസ് ബോൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ പോൺ ഓർ ബ്രീ ബോൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ പോൺ വെരി ഇസ് ലൈഫ് after pawn you can you can recover from pawn you can begin again there is hope even if you are a pawn addict well among young people three common addictions are pawn alcohol and drugs of these pawn is now very common because it is so accessible so easy you have no expense no extra expense for pawn whereas for alcohol and drugs you have to find money if you don't have enough money you will borrow from friends when they are tired of giving you money you they will not lend you any more then you begin to steal and if that is not enough then uh, you may begin to rob and do crimes to satisfy your craving for drugs or alcohol but for pawn it comes readily packed it comes to you it comes seeking you so, so easy to fall into this habit of pawn well there is a common denominator among these three and other addictions what is that this is what you call dopamine the feel good factor that is released by the brain dopamine is a gift of god actually for our survival basically it is for our survival you feel good with certain things for example when you see food and the smell of food reaches you your mouth begins to water you take a good bath after a tiring game or exercise you feel fresh dopamine is released or a boy sees an attractive girl or a girl sees a handsome boy there is mutual attraction and that attraction is meant for reproductive function nothing wrong therefore in this experience of dopamine it is natural it is god given but what happens in addiction of any kind is there is a huge flow of this dopamine a huge excessive flow which the brain cannot handle and under pressure of the the neurotransmitters of dopamine are affected they are overwhelmed so as a result to have a very good feel good factor you need heavier and heavier doses of stimuli If you are watching porn you need more violent porn stronger porn because your dopamine release is very much affected reduced so you need it more often you need it stronger this is the problem with any addiction porn or any other addiction this porn addiction has got serious consequences best consequence if you are a young man or a student your goal achievement will be thwarted you are not interested in studies you will have many arrears you will be absent for classes you will come late you lose focus and you may even forget why you have come to study in a college apart from that you have got aversion to duty and to study you are not interested in any more in study or doing duty why when you are doing your duty or you are studying there is no immediate satisfaction there is no release of dopamine there well if you study well and you get good results when you get the results you may feel happy about it but you will have to be patient till then so you waste your life you roam around wasting your life 
and the consequence is social disconnect. You are not interested anymore in your friends. You like to be alone. You have no time for your friends. You, you will not do anything for them and you cut yourself off from them. You also begin to dislike God and things of religion. You don't like to pray. You don't like to go to church. You also develop a certain kind of antagonism or disrespect towards those in authority. Your parents, your prophecies, the priests, you make fun of them. More serious still, you will go into depression and anxiety. You are getting worried about how life is turning out. You become all bored and you become downcast and morose. And this depression will lead to violence. It can lead to violence. It may be violence against yourself by committing suicide. It may be violence against others by doing them physical harm. Just one or two years ago, an airline pilot crashed his passenger plane into a mountain and killed himself and all the passengers. The reason was that you were driven by depression. So depression is very dangerous for yourself and for others. Then again, when you marry and settle down a family life, your family life, face, life will face serious challenges. You will not have any tolerance in your family life. You won't be able to relate to others as persons because you will seek pleasure. You are the center of the universe and everyone around you must dance to your tune. And in this process, you make objects out of persons. Your spouse is no more a person. It becomes an object for your pleasure. You begin to use people, not love them. And uh, therefore, uh, even your friends begin to distance themselves from you because they feel disrespected. And when you see persons of the opposite sex, you get all kinds of dirty thoughts, unworthy thoughts. And naturally, they feel ill ease at you. Well, this porn thrives on certain lies. Lies which are really hollow and you can expose them. First lie that Pond tells you is, everybody does it. You need not be everybody. And for those people who do it, they will also suffer the consequences. They will suffer the pain, frustration and despair. There is a price to be paid for it. The second lie is, see it only just for a little while, five minutes. After that you can stop. When you see it is not good for you, this is another big lie. You know that after five minutes you can't stop. It is like removing the brake on your two-wheeler and going down slope. You jam the brake, nothing will happen. You will go and have a crash. Similarly, once you get into certain activity, you can't stop. Third reason or third lie is to tell you, you are very tired, you are exhausted. You deserve some good relaxation. True, you deserve relaxation, but porn will not give you relaxation. It will only complicate your life and make it worse. Well, friends, what are a few things to overcome this porn? You can overcome it because Jesus said, Have courage, I have overcome the world. With the grace of God, everything is possible. First thing is go to a confession, a good confession. confession. Make a clean breast of your life and seek moral support, spiritual support from your confessor or from a counsellor and have recourse to prayer. Knock and the door will be opened. Seek and you will find. God will help you uh, and will be by your side. Read the Bible instead of wasting your time on porn. Do exercise, simple exercise. Maybe uh, going to the gym or playing a game or doing yoga or just a simple walk. After the exercise, you feel better. Watch your diet. Avoid junk food. Junk food is very attractive like porn, very tasty, but it does not nourish you. Give importance to vegetables and fruits. And most important of all, 
Be clear about your goal. Sit down, reflect, and write down what is the goal of your life. Think about it, pray about it, write it down, and keep it on your table. Keep it on your desk. Every morning when you get up, read your goal, submit it to God, and ask for His help and grace. I'm sure you will succeed to overcome your problem of porn. If you like this video, please sub subscribe to my channel. By then, till another time. Bye.